for a tapered plate of uniform thickness 10 mm find the displacement at the nodes by forming two element model the bar has a mass density of 7800 kg per meter cube young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5 mega newton per meter square the plate is subjected to a point load of 10 kN at its center and also determine the reaction forces at the supports as we can see that in the problem our beam is having a varying cross section that means at the top portion we can see the length of the beam or width of the beam is 80 mm and at the bottom portion which is having 40 mm so the area of cross section of top end that means 80 into thickness of 10 mm which is 800 mm square and at the bottom which is 40 into 10 that means 400 mm square in the problem it is clearly mentioned that we have to discretize the whole beam into two elements so we have to form two different finite element equations and assemble the finite element equation the finite element expression ea by l 1 minus 1 minus 1 which is individual for each elements so we have a unique individual area of cross section for each element but in this case both the elements may have a varying cross section so the first thing we have to find the individual area of cross section for each element the top portion have the area 800 mm square and at the bottom which is 400 mm square the beam is having a varying cross section uniformly varying cross section so which might be 600 mm square at the center so if we divide this into two elements we can assume that the first element that means the top portion element is having an average area of cross section of 700 mm square as the top portion having 800 and at the middle portion having 600 mm so we can are uh, roughly take it as an average 700 mm square similarly in the case of the bottom portion uh, the average of 600 and 400 we can uh, conclude that which is having a uniform cross section or constant cross sectional area of 500 mm square let's represent the whole beam into two number of elements which is having a constant area of cross section length of the beam are given as total of 300 element number 1 element number 2 each element is consist of two nodes so we have concluded that area of element 1 is 700 and for the element 2 which is 500 mm square so let's go for the finite element equation before that we need to know the total forces acting on that in the question which is mentioned that a 10 kN force is acting at the midpoint of the beam but along with that a force due to self weight also so we need to find all the forces acting on the beam so let's start with the force due to self weight let's write down the equation for force due to self weight of element number 1 which is nodes 1 and 2 f1 f2 equal to rho al by 2 1 1 rho is weight density but here which is given as mass density so we need to convert into weight so 7800 converting into weight 9.81 and converting into millimeter cube which is given in meter cube 10 raised to minus 9 length 150 divided by 2 1 1 which yields 4.017 4.017 a column matrix let's find out the force due to self weight of element number 2 the expression will be which is consist of node 2 and 3 so f2 f3 equal to element number 2 rho 2 a2 l2 by 2 1 1 weight density is same for both the elements substituting the values
area of cross section 500 mm square which yields a column matrix of 2.869 2.869 so we got the force due to self feed and now let's assemble the forces that means the force due to self feed and the applied additional external forces also the total forces will be f1 f2 f3 the force at f1 4.017 and 4.017 and due to element 2 which is 2.869 and 2.869 and uh, additionally we have at 10 kilonewton at node 2 so sum up all the values we will get the final force matrix as 4.017 10,006.88 and 2.869 which is the final force matrix so let's find the finite element equation for each elements let's start with the element number 1 we have the expression for node 192 f1 f2 equal to even a1 by l1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 u1 u2 substituting the values young's modulus area of cross section lung displacements are u1 and u2 which yields 9.332 into 10 raised to 5 1 minus 1 minus 1 u1 u2 so finally 10 raised to 5 common and multiplying the 9.332 with the matrix we will get the final finite element equation for element 1 Now let's write down the finite element equation for element number 2. Element number 2 which is consist of node 2 and node 3. So the force matrix F2, F3 equal to element 2, E2, A2 by L2, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1. The displacement U2, U3. Substituting the values, Young's modulus, area of cross section and length. which is a total of 6.666 into 10 raised to 5 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 u2 u3 so in final so now we have the finite element equation for each element let's assemble the finite element equation of both the elements starting with force matrix final force matrix f1 f2 f3 10 raised to 5 is common in both the cases the stiffness matrix element 1 and combining with element 2 we know that the middle value will be the sum of both the elements that means 9.332 plus 6.666 which will be a total of 15.998 so this will be the assembled final finite element equation now let's apply the boundary condition to find the unknown displacement at each nodes. We have the force matrix and final stiffness matrix.
as displacement at node 1 u1 equal to 0 we can neglect the first row and column of stiffness matrix so the equation will reduce us to 15.998 10 raised to 5 u2 minus minus 6.666 10 raised to 5 u3 equal to 10,006.88 and the equation number 2 also now we have two equations with two unknowns u2 and u3 let's solve the equation we'll get the value of displacement at node 2 and node 3 will be u2 equal to 0 0.01072 millimeter and also u3 0 0.01072 millimeter which is the nodal displacement now let's find the second question reaction at every nodes we have the equation matrix reaction matrix equal to k into u minus applied force f let's substitute the values the stiffness matrix Let's multiply the stiffness matrix and displace matrix first. The product of stiffness matrix and displacement matrix will be minus 10,004 plus 10,004, 0 minus our force matrix subtracting the two matrices ku minus f subtracting the both matrix we'll get minus 10008.017 newton minus 2.96 newton and minus 2.869 newton These three forces will be the reactions at node 1, 2 and 3 respectively. The sum of these reaction forces will be equal and opposite to the applied forces and the force due to self-weight. 